All right, we're heading out to the beach. I'm working on the one bait challenge. Off the Hook Outdoors is putting this one bait challenge out to use just one bait and create a video fishing with it. So we've got this bait up here that was chosen off the wheel and it is a chatter bait. But we're heading out to the beach. We're gonna throw it in the surf first. I've got a charter this morning. So this is the first time I've had the bait to use it. So we're gonna try it in the surf and we're gonna see what happens. We got uh, pelicans sitting right in the water fishing, getting our breakfast. So uh, hopefully if the pelicans are finding something to eat, that bait will find something too. So let's get at it. I got 30 minutes before my people show up, so I, I do need to like do some surf fishing things. Oh, I see movement right there. I was gonna get at least one line in the water before my people showed up, but I'm just gonna start throwing this thing. So I've never used a chatterbait before. We've got this cool color. It's got this uh, little plate thing. I don't know if anybody else doing the challenge is throwing this in the surf, but I am. Woo. Oh, I like barely went anywhere. Oh, that's so weird. The movement on that. I guess that's why they call it chatterbait. That little, little thingy-majig at the top just makes it vibrate. That's sweet. Alrighty. Okay, we're right around where we're seeing that movement. Just gonna jig it a little bit. I'm gonna have to stand a little bit further into the surf to get it out there farther. All right, there we go, straight ahead. <laughs> it's still like barely in there. Let it drop a bit. Hopefully the fish are close. Yeah, I can see how this would be really effective in um, fresh water. We've got 85 degree water temperature right now. 85 degrees. I see movement there. I mean, there's fish like right where I was throwing it. So let's see if I can get it a bit farther. I want to drag it through that motion movement. Well, that went the wrong direction. Okay, one more throw and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get my lines ready. Wow, that was so unimpressive. I can't even blame it on the wind. Yeah, I never use something that puts such a vibration on the line. Okay, one more and then I'm gonna set up my lines. Maybe if I'm catching stuff on my set rigs while I'm throwing this, that would be pretty cool. Man, that pelican is just chomping away. He's just chomping away on some fish. We're gonna go get set up. Every charter, we always pray that something special, something miraculous happens, something unique, you know? And that's been happening. We've been catching flounder and redfish and things that you don't normally catch this type of season or on this area. And so just a little bit ago, threw this line in the water and I just had the sense to throw it close, really, really close at the shoreline, which it's already getting hot. I would typically not be throwing it that close. I just said a quick prayer. I was like, okay, Lord, we need a good fish. Like, send us something really cool. And then I walked away to check the other lines. I turned around and this line is getting a big hit. Get this ready for you. It's really close though. So go ahead and start reeling it. Oh, sweet. This is a mangrove snapper. We were just talking about mangrove snapper. This is actually pretty rare to catch right here on the beach. A mangrove snapper. I've never caught a mangrove right here. Something different, eh? Yeah, this is keeper size too. This is nice. So coming over here to my friend Doug, fishing right next to me, holding this shark. Hey, you mind if they take a look? Here we are. <laughs> That's a nice shark. Or what, what species do you think that is? I have no idea. they took off because I want to throw this in the surf again.
well, which is probably good this time of day. Oh my gosh, what the heck? I got completely doused with salt water. Man, okay, I'm really wet now. It's in my eyes. I got salt water in my eyes, dudes. Oh my gosh. All right, one more toss and then we gotta go. I gotta get out of the sun. Well, I tried. Chatterbait for the surf. Today, that is a no-go. Nothing. It's 4th of July. It's also my birthday. Getting ready to cast this, uh, cast this one bait challenge bait out here in the inshore. Right over there is where they're gonna be doing the fireworks tonight. I'll let you see a little clip of that right here. gonna throw this uh, chatterbait right out here in this water see if we can hook up on something so let's get to it we got some wind coming up which I don't like because it's gonna be hard to cast this far but here's the bait that we're using this is the chatterbait this is also the first time I've ever used this reel Daiwa legalis 4,000 oh yeah that's really going out We got other people gonna be fishing too, so I gotta be mindful of that, plus keeping away from the boats. This will give us a good idea of what this bait looks like in the water as it's moving. How quickly it drops, that'll give me an idea. It's good to see what is going on with your lure and how it responds, how it acts in the water. Not typically the um, lure I would be using if I was fishing inshore. I believe this lure was submitted by a freshwater fisherman. The wind is taking it. Wish I had enough weight to make it go. It's more like where I wanted it. Anyways, so. Just kind of jigging this on the bottom here. Kind of bouncing it next to this piling. I don't want to get too close though because I don't want it to get caught on it. All right, we're trying over here in this current. I might just let it sit. See how fast this current is moving through here. I'm just going to cast it like over here and let the current carry it. I'm not even going to flip the bale. Okay. I'm just going to let the current pull it. I got to be really careful with casting because I, <laughs> I only have one of these. Okay. I don't know why this is, this reel is acting weird. Oh, that's why. Line was wrapped around the top. I don't know how that happened. Oh. oh, that's not good. It's my only bait. Let's let it loose a little bit. Maybe the current can dislodge it. Oh, man. This might be the end of the one bait challenge, guys. <laughs> if I lose this bait. Let's see if we can, can't get it unstuck. Ah. Well, that's bad. Let's see if I can get it from a different angle here. I'm going to stay that way. Maybe I can come down here. Um, I can come down here. At least maybe get a better angle on the thing. I'm going to text. text Andy. Tell him to come here. He can hold this while I go get my Crocs. Look at these guys behind us. I got one, two, three, four, five. Fred number one, Fred number two, and so on. If you can just hold this, I've got to get my Crocs because I've only got one lure. Got my Crocs. Let's get past these birds. They look kind of mean. Look at them. This is a huge fish. 
this. Look at this, guy. <laughs> this is so big I can't even bring it up. And yeah, I just need to get like a better angle on it. Tighten it down a little bit more. Uh, a good thing, guys, is this is testing the strength of my double uni knot because I'm putting a ton of force on this. Look how much this rod is bending. Maybe I'll just pull the whole oyster bed up. <laughs> Catch the oysters. <laughs> oh, I well, that's the end of the one bait challenge, guys. That's it. Chatterbait. They definitely work. I am in shock. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, as you can imagine, that did not go how I expected it to go at all. Uh, I didn't even get a chance to throw that lure in the fresh water. In the ponds, in the canals, or puddles, or anywhere else I was planning to throw it. I can't believe it. But anyways, that was a fun little challenge to do. And I believe there's a way that you can vote for my video if you thought it was entertaining and fun and you want me to win. Thanks again, Ted and uh, Off The Hook Outdoors for allowing me to be a part of this challenge. And check out the other videos from the other creators, subscribe to their channels. That's what this is all about, is getting greater visibility and to let you guys know what other people are out there doing this. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it, and vote for me!